WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished down 69, NASDAQ off 87, S&P's off 6.5, gold contract down $7.40, trading at $17.91 an ounce. You get silver down 37 cents, $23.99 an ounce. Late sweet crude up a buck, $69.34 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year up seven ticks, trading 133.07. The 30 year up 20 at 162.17 and King Dollar. King Dollar up 187 ticks, trading out at 92.699. Euro right now at a price point of 118. Yen 110.27. The British pound at 137 to 1 US dollar. We get open, we take a look at the SP, folks. Bottom line is that you got a slow roll on the downside. You have an expansion of volume out here, so I expect we're going to see lower price coming at us. These slow rolls get uh, pretty wild. Uh, meaning that when they do the slow roll, if you're looking at a horseshoe, put it upside down, and as you're looking at it on the right-hand side, as soon as it gets to the point of the curve, that's when you see the downdraft that starts. Inside the NDX 100, I think we're basically getting, oh, well, this is interesting. No, oh, it's, that closed at 133. No, that's still hanging tough. You, you, had, you had an expansion of volume inside the NDX, 31 million, but you're still hanging tough. That can hit the highs again. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Gold, gold contract rejected lower price out here today. Had lighter volume tremendously when we hit lower price. That is saying gold wants higher price and good old King Dollar. We'll see King Dollar did a 50% retracement of the move down. We'll see whether that can hold price. What well, is going to be intriguing, you know, of course, you're always talking about the equity market, folks. And the bottom line is that one of the best investments, I think, in the future uh, for some of your children, your grandchildren, whatever, is buy a bottom line, a high-end vehicle that goes as fast as you can go with a combustible engine. Because the bottom line is that you just had New York pass a law that as of 2035, there'll be no more combustible engines. That just joined California, uh, same year, 2035. So the bottom line is that you go out 50 years, and guess what? A combustible engine car is people going to be able to love to hear the sound of a combustible engine. <laughs> That's the real bottom line. So uh, go get yourself, uh, yeah, you know, you get the gist of it though. Right? Now, there's, granted, you gotta put it in a garage and all this and take care of it, but guess what? When there's no more combustible engines out here and uh, they'll be worth some big money. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off, 9 a.m. Have a great one, folks.